Hi, my name is Mamor Njai. I serve as the Senior Assistant Director of International Admissions and International Financial Aid here at Northwestern. Hi, everyone. My name is Eric Lopez. I am an Assistant Director of Admissions, and I do recruit in the West Coast team as well. So anything north of San Francisco, Northern California, East Bay, Sacramento area, those are the main areas that I recruit. Hi, I'm Emily Coffey. I'm an assistant director of admission here at Northwestern. I'm also the director of our tour guide program. And I graduated from the School of Education and Social Policy in 2020 with a major in social policy, a second major in religious studies, and a minor in classical Greek. And I'm here to answer a few frequently asked questions about Northwestern admissions. First question, what factors do you consider when making admissions decision? It is a very tough question to answer. Honestly, there is no secret formula to answer that question. When making a decision at Northwestern, we practice holistic admissions, meaning that there are so many factors that we take into account before we reach our final decision. We just want to make sure that the student coming to Northwestern is really a good fit for our community, but also that we are a good fit for that student. And that combined, help us make a decision that we hope is the best for our community? This is a really good question and it's a really complicated question. The one number one thing I like to say about our admissions decisions is that they're all based in context. We're really trying to get an idea of who you are as a student, who you've been for the last four years, how you got here, who you would like to be in college, and then how that might play out at Northwestern. So context is our biggest thing that we're focusing on during the admissions process. I think a lot of times when students think of admissions, we think of a scale with all the quote unquote good things on one side and the bad things on the other, and something it tips the scale eventually. That's really not the case for holistic admissions. Instead, we're putting together a bunch of different puzzle pieces to really get a clear picture of you as a student. All of those puzzle pieces matter to us, so the short answer is that really we're reviewing everything when we're reviewing you for your admissions process. That being said, the context is super important, and we really um, have a ton of impressive students who are applying to Northwestern. We have a lot of really strong students applying to Northwestern. And because of that, I think it can be really impactful to see a lot of passion come through students' applications, the things that you're excited about, the things that you wanna continue pursuing when you're at college. We see some dedication come through in a student's application, so the time that you've spent in terms of your activities and your academics. And then we see a community-minded person, someone who's really going to be a supportive student body member, who's going to come into Northwestern and empower our community um, and be a good community member while on campus. A few things, when we review your application, we are looking at it holistically. Every single piece in your application is equally important and essentially we're putting them all together so that we could see the greater puzzle of who you are as a person and really that's going to give us a great image of your Northwestern fit. We want to make sure that you're not only the best student in your high school but you are the best student for Northwestern and we want to make sure that Northwestern is a good fit for you. Should I apply ED or RD? This is a great question. I usually tell students applying ED shows your highest level of demonstrated interest. It really shows that you understand everything about this institution and you are ready to sign that binding contract to say that Northwestern is my first choice. Once you understood that, you'll be ready to apply ED. Regular decision does not mean that you do not like Northwestern but maybe you needed a few more minutes, months, weeks, or just a little bit more time to apply to Northwestern. How does a dual degree differ from a double major? This is a really great question and we get it a lot. Um, so if you're applying for a dual degree at Northwestern, you're applying to two of our undergraduate colleges instead of just one of them. The dual degree program is a five-year program where you end up with two bachelor's degrees from two of our undergraduate colleges. So during the admissions process, you would apply to two of the undergraduate colleges. You can be admitted to both of these colleges, either one or neither. Um, if you're applying for a double major at Northwestern, um, you would only apply under one major in our application process and you'd be able to double major once you got onto campus. You can have a double major in the Weinberg College of Arts and Sciences regardless of which school you are a part of um, and you can check out the, the specifics on double majoring between specialized schools on our websites. How do I make my personal essay stand out? Which is a great question. Um, you definitely want to be clear, 
concise, but also be authentic. You know, talk about something that you know very well, something that you're passionate about. This personal essay is going to give us greater context into who you are, not just as an academic student, but also as a person. I'm interested in double majoring across two undergraduate schools. Which school should I apply to? This is also a great question. It really comes into play as you're kind of figuring out your fit at Northwestern. As you figure out your fit at Northwestern, I would encourage you to think about how your strengths overlap with Northwestern's strengths. I mean that in general, but also in terms of the undergraduate colleges. Especially check out the core curriculum at the different undergraduate colleges and see which one fits you best. See which one feels like something that you'd like to pursue once you get started on campus. Um, I would also keep in mind that about 30% of our students actually graduate from a different undergraduate college than they came into. So there's a ton of opportunity to have some inner school transfer while at Northwestern. In addition to that, uh, we have the same admit rate across the schools. So you're not more likely to get in one school or another when you're applying to Northwestern. Next, does Northwestern require any supplemental essays? Yes, we do. It's called the Why Northwestern Statement. And for this one, you want to be as specific as possible. Essentially, it's going to require for you to do some homework about Northwestern and you want to think about having a reciprocal relationship with Northwestern, not just what I could receive from Northwestern, but also what can I give to Northwestern? How important is my secondary school transcript? It is important because it allows us to see how academically you've been challenging yourself in high school. We really would like to know how you've been doing, what classes you've been taking. So it is indeed very important for us to kind of gauge the level of academic involvement you've been having in your um, high school. How do I designate interest in an adjunct program, minor, or certificate in my application? So you can only apply under one major when you're applying to Northwestern. That being said, there are places in the application to talk about your other interests at Northwestern, and it can really be a strength, especially in your Why Northwestern, to talk about the, the advantage of the flexibility at Northwestern. So definitely feel free to talk about other areas that you're interested in in your essays, and then feel free to choose a major if you would like to. Can I submit supplemental materials? Northwestern does not accept unsolicited supplemental materials such as portfolios or any artwork. They're not going to be reviewed, so you should not submit them. Northwestern accepts both the Common Application and Apply Coalition with SCORE. Is there a preference? The short answer is no. Um, these applications are fairly similar. The application pieces are the same and we review them completely the same in our admissions process. Uh, the prompts can vary a little bit in terms of the essays. So if you have a preference, I would definitely check both out and see which one fits you best. Are interviews required? Interviews are not required, but they are available for you as an additional optional piece towards your entire application. All interviews are conducted off campus from Northwestern and they're conducted with Northwestern's Alumni Admission Council or AAC for short. What high school classes should I take? We recommend taking classes that are really challenging and academically to you. It really doesn't have to be focused on one specific major. But from seeing the classes you took throughout your high school career, we're able to see if you really have the preparation necessary to succeed here at Northwestern. Does Northwestern accept applications from undocumented students? Yes, Northwestern does accept applications for undocumented students. I want to pursue business, but Northwestern doesn't offer a business major. Which major should I apply to? The most popular major on our campus next to Undecided is economics. So if you're interested in business, economics is a really great place to start. The great thing about the economics department is that it's housed in the same building as our Kellogg School of Management. So there's some kind of innate geographical overlap with business there. That being said, students who are business minded on campus can really major in anything. Other popular majors include learning and organizational change in our School of Education in social policy or mathematical methods and social sciences in our Weinberg College of Arts and Sciences. Um, like I said, you really can major in anything and still engage with business on campus, both academically and through extracurriculars while on campus. How do I highlight special circumstances that may have interrupted or significantly affected my academic performance? You're going to have a section where you can add additional information about anything in your application that you want to do. Also, your personal essays, they serve as a perfect place for you to add additional information and give us greater context. And your letters of recommendation from your counselors and your instructors, those are also going to provide greater context about your environment, about your circumstances. So you have plenty of spaces to do that.
What okay. kind of involvement should I include in my activity chart? When asked that question, you should realize that there is so much more that you're doing that you probably are not aware of. So start thinking about the activities that you can include on the list based on what you do outside of the classroom. And I'm talking from sports to special projects on class to even helping your siblings or family um, in the outside of the classroom at home. So again, think of things that are really valuable to you that you spend hours doing throughout the whole year and that would really help us build a profile of the kind of student that you are and maybe benefit the Northwestern community. I want to pursue a pre-medicine track. Which major should I apply to? We have pre-medicine students at Northwestern across 60 unique majors and in all six of our schools. So you really can pursue any major that you would like at Northwestern. Our health professions advising team says that oftentimes the best major to pursue is the one that you're gonna love the most, the one that you're gonna enjoy the most. Now, a lot of pre-medicine students choose to pursue majors in STEM areas. The reason for that is because of the required courses for medical school. There is a lot of overlap with some biological areas Areas, chemistry, neuroscience, etc. Because of that, STEM, STEM focused majors are fairly popular among pre medicine students, but in fact, the most popular major among pre medicine students at Northwestern is undecided. Can I apply undecided to Northwestern? Yes, you can. Undecided is actually our most popular major here at Northwestern. You can select specifically undecided for our Weinberg College of Arts and Sciences. McCormick School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, and also our School of Education and Social Policy. Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching this video. If you wanna to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click right over here. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please click right here. Go ahead and go check us out on social media. We'd love to connect with you all. Thanks again for being with us and have a really good one. Go Cats!